Да, да, это оно. Вот это. This might be my last video. This is our bank. Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, Zoom Stay, welcome to a brand new vlog today. Today I'm here with my friend Timur, who you might remember one time took me on a trip of a Gopnik hood here in Chelyabinsk. Right now we're in the center of the city, but last time we made a video on the Gopnik hood of Chelyabinsk, we noticed a place in there called McMick Burger. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a broke neighborhood that they even have don't they don't even have proper McDonald's. They have Mc, Mc, McBurger. Oh my god, man, I'm depressed. Which is some sort of bootleg Russian McDonald's. So today, once again, guys, we'll be going down to the Gopnik hoods of our city to check out the worst-rated McDonald's copycat in all of Russia. Join me on a trip to take a nice meal at McBurger. <laughs> What I've been told by ju just by Timur right here is that uh, this restaurant apparently is owned by this local politician who's, uh, you know, whose advertisement is literally on his own building. So uh, he owns this restaurant, he owns this place. So in case if I uh, disappear after this video, if I uh, say something bad about this place, you know who to blame. <laughs> this guy. You can see the prices in here compared to like McDonald's actually a lot cheaper. They're winning, McBurger's winning a lot of points for me right now. I gotta tell you guys that. <laughs> a big tasty, a one big tasty McDonald's costs like 260 rubles. Here we got two burgers and fries for sub 300 rubles, which is pretty good. Well, that, that, that's, uh, uh, you know, as long as we don't get food poisoning. <laughs> I gotta say though, the, uh, the seats in here are not in the greatest condition. <laughs> Especially this right here. It's not in the greatest condition. This place might be a health hazard. You know, guys, smash like. Lofuck is literally putting our life, literally putting our lives on the line for, for, this, for this content. I have to say, Mama, I want McDonald's at home. We have McDonald's at home. This is McDonald's. This is McDonald's at home. Let's go. You know the size of the uh, of the patty isn't the greatest. <laughs> look, it doesn't look the most appetizing. It doesn't look, you know, McDonald's looks better, but I won't say it does. I would not say it looks disgusting. Здравствуйте. Давай сбогом. Ну слушай, норм. Нет? Это губеры, которые типа в ларьках с На остановке. На остановке с Да. Nah. It's not bad in my opinion, like if I was really really hungry, because here's the thing, we actually ate before this. <laughs> if I was hungry, it's not that bad. It's really small. It's the smallest patty I've seen in my life. <laughs> Comprehensive review. What do I what do you guys give the old McBurger? I give it like a yeah, five out of five out of five for the toilets. For food I'd give him like a two, two point two and a half out of five. It's not the worst. It's not disgusting, okay? It's 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 consumable. It's decent enough. Interior is a uh, five of five. Interior is beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful because it's unique. That's what we want. So we want the unique stuff, something that doesn't look like your regular uh, McDonald's, and it does. It definitely does not. So. So we're continuing our tour of the uh, of, of this neighborhood of Chelyabinsk, and uh, in the back of me you can see a. We're entering a beautiful Soviet park. Border Bangkok will be very, very happy because right here you can see this is some real old school stuff. This is actually a Soviet mosaic right here, as, I, as far as I can see. It's a bit different from your usual Soviet mosaic, you know. Um, looks very, very dilapidated to be fair. But as you can see, it's a bit of a different uh, style. You know, you got trees and flowers, more trees, some sort of hedgehog right there. Uh, definitely very different from the usual Soviet mosaics with the themes of uh, with the themes of war and. Uh, production or the people working on the fields this one is all for the children i like it so this right here seems used to be a soviet fountain of some sort I, guys honestly i have no clue what's going on in here we have some random stalls that seems to have zero purpose the fountain that used to be there just covered in some piece of woods there's a pony <laughs> walking down the park what in the hell is going on what in the hell is going on in this place <laughs>
By the way guys, just right here, as you can see, you know, as I've said, you know, spring is the most beautiful season in Russia. And right here, I want to sit down at this bench, but... Uh, <laughs> There's actual pile of human shit in my way. And I just I just wanted to talk about how there's dirt and everything, how you cannot even possibly come close, but there's actual pile of human feces right there. I'm going to be honest, guys, that uh, <laughs> we just joked off camera that that pile of human feces looks, it looks bad. It's like the person wasn't eating right. And we we're just thinking that probably belongs to a person who just had a nice meal at McBurger. <laughs> And their poops have turned to that. He did it right here in front of this bench in this park. Awesome. I love it. Okay, this is awesome. I didn't expect to see this today. Uh, Timur just took me to this park, right? It's pretty close to the McBurger we just attended. So there's a bunch of old Soviet amusement park stuff in here. Right here, for example, you can see there's old uh, like Soviet cars you can drive and stuff. We're gonna, I think, I think we're gonna take a trip. Timur is already right here standing in line for us to get on top of this thing. So these kinds of Ferris wheels actually, we used to have a lot more of these in Chilebinsk. So for example, I remember in uh, one of the central parks, which actually now live by in Chilebinsk, we used to have this old Soviet Ferris wheel in it, but it's been since taken down because I don't know, apparently it's not safe or something, but in this neighborhood, it's still operating. So this is one of our rare chances to, uh, you know, take a, Take a ride on a real Soviet Ferris wheel. Сколько стоит? Сколько? Нет. Из YouTube, да. Да, да, это оно. Вот это. Да, да, да. Страшно, да, не страшно. Да все нормально будет. Я на. С него надо на астронавта. Совет. Окей, хорошо. Спасибо. These people, the locals just told us that it's not a good idea to get on this Soviet Ferris wheel, that it's pretty dangerous and it's, it's uh, like 50 years older than any of us. And that's true, but... <laughs> this is the, uh, yes, this is the Soviet Ferris wheel safety right here. Uh, you know, there's nothing actually holding us down to our seats, as you can see, so, you know, it's all... This is just it, you know? Yeah, it, it kind of looks like the mechanism the mechanism is barely working, to be honest, guys. You know, the half of the like the nuts and the bolts of it like kind of came off like 10, 20 years ago. It's pretty scary, to be completely honest. This might be my last video. <laughs> yeah, this, you, you know, this looks like at the beginning of a Final Destination movie. I'm gonna be honest right now. <laughs> I might have, uh, I might have made a terrible mistake, but uh, we're gonna be alright. We're gonna be alright, I'm pretty sure. So here we are, we're reaching up to the very, very top of this uh, Soviet Ferris wheel. As you can see, it's not the, tight, not, not the tallest Ferris wheel in the world. And you can enjoy right here a nice view of the metallurgic district of Chelyabinsk. Uh, a bunch of uh, trees, you know, a, a church very, very far ahead. Some uh, commie block, nice Soviet buildings right here. Beautiful. The rest of this amusement park. <laughs> Amazing. Love it. Well, there you go. Would you guys take a ride on a Ferris Soviet, uh, Soviet Ferris wheel? Sorry. I think it's definitely an experience. It's really, really cool. You know, it's the same kind of Ferris wheels that installed all the way from prepared Ukraine to uh, the far east of Russia. We just got some tickets to ride this thing called Autodrom. All Soviet uh, type of amusement uh, rides which involves you driving these little funny cars. This video just turned into us fucking around at the Soviet amusement park and I'm living for it. Actually you can see these, this exact same type of uh, cars even in like the prepits, uh, in the abandoned uh, amusement park there. So, you know, this grid on the top is actually, actually is under, uh, there's some sort of power on it and it kind of works like a tram. So these cars are driving around, they're kind of like a tram system, I guess. And uh, here you can actually see there's uh, one of these abandoned cars. <laughs> Go, ninja. Ugh. <laughs> There's only the gas pedal, nothing else. I expected it to be to be a break or something, but okay. Timur, I'm ready to take on your ass. <laughs> First, I'm gonna take your ride, then we're gonna take your girl. Get ready for that. This is Epic! The greatest vlog on my 
my channel, ever. He's trying to crash into me. I'm gonna get his ass. is over. Super, да, спасибо. Here we are guys, Jay Walken. Jay Walken in the uh, Gothic neighborhood of uh, <laughs> of Chilevins. <laughs> What? What, the, <laughs> what is this? Okay, so apparently this is some sort of cafe that was built here really really right next to a Soviet regular Soviet commie block. <laughs> this is awesome. Who does that? Who built something like this right next to a regular Soviet commie block? And so this is apparently some sort of pirates themed place. <laughs> There's like cannons and it looks like a ship. What? what? <laughs> okay, this is amazing. So first of all, we have this old ass Soviet commie block and then they built like this. It's like a ship side, whatever right here. Yeah, oh yeah, it's like it's water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The creativity people uh, get out of themselves in this neighborhood is incredible. Building a little ship out of a uh, Soviet comic block. Amazing, I love it. We've actually come across a building here, which is a sort of a Soviet aquarium uh, time type building right here so you can see right here there's a Soviet mosaic with a sort of a again unusual uh, sea theme a bunch of fishes and everything uh, starfish right here не в натуре из универа кезы нет просто так у меня жена реально здесь мозаику изучала лучше нет точно я реально в институте о ты моя жена что ли <laughs> it's pretty cool, you know, we'll say what you want about the Soviet Union, right? But you can clearly see the difference in the uh, of the amount of attention they pay to the aesthetic and the way everything looks, you know? Right here you see the way Russia does it, you know? Some shitty fucking <laughs> banner, you know, that looks, that's like completely already faded from the sun for like probably one year. And then you have the, that's Russia. And then you have the Soviet Union, which is a nice mosaic that stood the test of time, has probably been there for decades at this point and looks pretty much brand new because actual, you know, care and uh, uh, attention was paid to it. But you know, in Russia, you know, we'll, we'll just do something like this, you know, it doesn't matter. Pain. There we go, guys, again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Soviet horse. As you can see, it has a star on its ass. <laughs> Great. Uh, you know, this is what it's like in the uh, Soviet parks. Just have horses going around all over the place. Really, really nice. <laughs> Funk. Russia, even the stadium is covered with проволокой. Ебаный в So as you can see right here, right now, we're in front of a little sort of a stadium thing right here. Very, very nice. I guess this was uh, actually originally Soviet. Uh, some kids playing in there. There's actually a writing here that says, uh, people, please keep peace and people, please be wary. Uh, it says that the triumph of the Soviet people should be uh, perceived for the ages, basically. That's a great message. I can get by that. You guys might be confused about what's going on in the background right now, but and it's basically like kids up there like dancing uh, Russian traditional dances right now, and you can see like hear the stomping of the feet and stuff. It's awesome to see cultural life like this going down.
we're in a sort of residential uh, neighborhoods, whatever. You can see there's actually some really, really cool buildings right here. So uh, these are probably, you know, from the Soviet times, you know, a lot of these Soviet red stars on top. A uh, really, really cool building uh, until you look down <laughs> and you see kind of what's going on right here. There's a lot that are literally stuck in the mud right there. Yes, uh, Russian Spring, you guys. What could be better? What could be better than the Russian Spring? I love it. You know what, I feel like this neighborhood has the nicest uh, buildings I've seen in Chelyabinsk anywhere. I mean, you know, this is Soviet goodness. Uh, pre kami block era sort of Soviet buildings where they actually tried, you know. It, it has like a sort of tower here on the top, which is probably inaccessible to most of the uh, inhabitants, unfortunately. But amazing, beautiful. Look at that balcony right there. So cool. I wish they built more stuff like this nowadays, but unfortunately, no. <laughs> What's interesting about this neighborhood is that the way it was made, the way it was planned is that the idea was for workers to be housed and to be able to get to the factory as quick as possible. So all these uh, residential buildings you see right here, essentially, the road we're going on right now is directly connected to the factory. So the idea is that if you live in this neighborhood, in this building, which were, you know, these buildings were given to the workers, uh, you could uh, be at your workplace, at your job in five minutes. <laughs> Но она выглядит не очень злой, на самом деле, она маленькая такая. Чимс. Чимс. So here we just came out to the, uh, sort of the entrance to these factories that are located here in this neighborhood. And it's true, we literally just had like a five minute walk. By the way, here on the actual uh, sign of the factory, you can see there's two little badges right there, which actually show um, certain awards, I guess, that this factory won from back in the Soviet Union, the Soviet government, and they're still flaunting it, flaunting it to this very day, you know what I mean? <laughs> to be honest, this place, this entrance to this uh, factory feels kind of like a ghost town. There's like almost not a single soul here. Such a big territory, as you can see. It's like nobody, almost. And we have some sort of uh, monuments right here, which I'm pretty sure is not Soviet. It's some sort of dude that looks kind of looks like Brezhnev. Fifty thousand people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Anya, we're literally the first passengers in this one. Video, video camera. <laughs> Маленькая такая. Нас не заснимают. Хорошо, ладно. Снимайте окна вот эти вот. И мы съем, да. Here in the background of me you can see two Russian zoomers being nuisances to society, taking pictures from the factories, but there's actual working class people here on the tram with us right now. Coming from work, I've been actually doing actual jobs, actual benefit to society. Just two absolute pricks, and including me as well, including myself on that list. Just being nuisances to society and taking pictures because it's cool. Okay guys, we're back in the city center now. Um, that's gonna be pretty much, I guess, it for this video. We took a nice trip of uh, the Gopnik neighborhood of Chelyabinsk. Once again, the Meltalurgate neighborhood. Uh, I think it was great. Uh, make sure to follow Timur's Instagram. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to slap the like button on it as well. If you guys want to support my channel, make sure to go over to the link down in the description to my Patreon, donate to it, I would gladly appreciate it. And that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.